What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to be previewing season 2024 for Port Adelaide. Uh, a little bit earlier than I would normally do, but with the earliest start of the season, uh, with opening round and obviously trial matches and everything being played pretty much towards the back end of February, now is the more perfect time to set ourselves up for what's going to be a fascinating 2024. New recruits have come in. We're going to be talking about what we can watch for this year. We're going to be talking about the must-needs to be ticking every box, to be striving for that premiership, and obviously some games to look forward to and players you must watch as well, as you would have seen in previous uh, videos too with Josh Shin, uh, Tom Cleary and the likes as well. So let's get straight into it. Let's preview 2024 for Port Adelaide. Straight off the bat, first question. The time is now? Question mark. Simple as that. Is this year, 2024, 20 years since 2004, new recruits, um, a, a, a sense of hope from fans? Is the time now for Ken Hinckley to finally flick the switch, tick the box, hit the premiership medal, and finally bring joy to Port Adelaide fans who have either hated him, loathed him, disagreed with decisions, um, questioned the club, supported the club, you know, there is a lot at stake for Port Adelaide in 2024. There is a lot of history in this year. There is a lot of, um, you know, question marks from the external noise that isn't part of Port Adelaide. Fans have been given a great insight. They've had Family Day, the internal trial, um, and upcoming matches as well. I've obviously seen the new facilities. Port Adelaide off the field is successful. Uh, as, a lot of, uh, as, as much as many fans around the country don't want to accept that and what, don't really know that and aren't educated on that, Port Adelaide is successful off the field. They have created a, an environment that's you know, stable. It's high-tech facilities, high-performance centre. Uh, Alberton is growing and the fan base is growing. You know, we've set records in 2023 for membership and already at 50,000 members for 2024 and growing already. The on-field is where it's most important. That's where you generate your most um, profit as such. And that's profit, not just with value, but also in hope and um, generating um, fans to be happy and excited. And Port Adelaide need to do that in 2024. They need to create an environment that's both positive and uh, exciting. Because if we don't have that excitement, we don't have that edge. You saw the run in 2023 with 13 wins in a row. Port fans felt invisible untouchable although there was that little part of the brain that was just like when's it coming there's going to be an end and it happened obviously and we were all we were all right the wrong time of the year we struck now it's time to be a little bit more consistent um and, and i guess when it comes to consistency i don't mean winning 13 14 15 in a row i mean you get to that august september period where you've got to build your momentum into finals that's the most crucial part of the year and port adelaide need to do that and that is the most important part. That's what we need to watch out for. I don't care about the home and away season. You know, just get there. You know, finish top four. Get a home final. I think that's my biggest thing this year. If you're going to take away one thing from my personal opinion this year, a home final is a must and a home prelim final is a must. For me, finishing top two is crucial. I don't think we'll do it. I've got us fourth in uh, my season predictions this year. Push come to shove, you know, if we're playing Collingwood or Brisbane, that's a tough ask anyway. We're playing at the MCG, even whoever else we're playing at the MCG if they're a Victorian club anyway. So getting that uh, to that position, winning the first final and having a home prelim, that is where the tail of the story becomes juicy because then we'll sit there and be like, right, we've got a home prelim against such and such. Are we going to do it? Are we going to finally take that one extra step? 2004 was the same thing. Got to the prelim home against St Kilda. Won by goal, got there, finally won a premiership. Rest is history. That's Port Adelaide's goal this year. But I don't want to look as well. You know, a lot of this is based on oh, external noise-wise. People are thinking, Port Adelaide are going to drop again. Um, obviously, with the recruits coming in, uh, we've got Iban Soldo, we've got Jordan Sweet as the two big rucks we brought in, and obviously Asava Radicalia and Brandon Zerk Thatcher. Four recruits, four crucial roles they'll play. And it comes back to whether people think they're not going to be good enough. And a lot of people don't. I'm not too worried about the external noise when it comes to these situations. We've seen in the past that people love to um, preview and uh, instigate a bit of noise around certain situations. Port Adelaide has been a main culprit in that. Uh, when it comes to, oh, Port Adelaide have got a new recruit. Oh, they're the missing piece. We are definitely a puzzle, the club. 
on field, it's a puzzle. You know, you've got to have pieces, and once you complete the, the puzzle, you win a flag. Simple as that. Um, we've just been a, a, a big puzzle. You know, there's extra size ones, you get the 5,000 piece ones, and you just spend years and years trying to build. Yeah, that's Port Adelaide. For Port Adelaide to do all that, and I know it was a mumbling mess, but that's, I, tr I did that on purpose. I did that because I want people to see what the thought process is of a preview. You know, you're looking at a season going, right, this has got to happen, this has got to happen, this has got to happen. You know, it's all of that combined into a massive thought process. And if it's not executed in a way where there is one straight line and you're just going to one target, if you put a target up on the wall, that is an end goal. How are you going to get to that end goal? And this is what I think we must need to do to get to that end goal. Obviously, in game, you know, we've got the recruits. I think we've got the firepower. We've got the development inside. We've seen the development of Josh Sin in the preseason looking great. Uh, obviously, the changing of the guard, as I said, with Co Captain Connor Rosie and Zach Butters and a new leadership group. Another year with Miles Bergman, Power Peppers, a, a, an excellent leader now. You know, the, the fine tuning of Boak and Dixon, who are going to be mentors and, and having uh, their own roles within the team. You know, the, the development of Ollie Lord down forward. Um, you know, the, these types of things is a, a part of the, the goal process, a part of the step-by-step -step guide to building that goal. Uh, and these are the three things I've sort of pinpointed for me that's going to win us our way to potentially winning a flag. I'm not saying it will win us a flag. I'm saying it will potentially get us there. Mental application um, will be the one that wins us a flag. But accurate goal kicking, a strong defense, and my most important one, the first two ones... Accurate kicking, yeah, we haven't had the greatest of goal kicking for years now, but burying teams and, and really putting that scoreboard pressure is a must for Port. Strong defense is the same, uh, but obviously it works hand in hand. They're the two main things you sort of point out. It's a simple need. My third one, the most important one, we've seen it from time and time again. I think Port Adelaide have implemented this in the way they've gone about it um, with their AGM season launch and everything going on so far with media commitments as well. No talk. All action. There hasn't been a promise of look out for us this year. There hasn't been a an, um, an external confidence from Port Adelaide. There hasn't been that, you know what, we're going to come out and we're going to showcase who we exactly are. All the talk's been around off-field, board meetings, Warren Treadway joining the board, 20 years anniversary, all of that, you know. We've, we've really implemented a no-talk, all-action approach. And I love to see it going into round one. And I would love to see it throughout the whole year because if we take that under the radar mentality, it'll go a long, long way, I think. Um, and that comes with the mentality within the group. And I think that is the right approach for someone that is captain like Connor Rosie. He's definitely an arm around um, the players type of captain. It's not going to be outspoken. People are going to listen. And when you do that, um, it will go a long way and it will help his football as well. So that will implement into every player. And then that way, you know, you have no talk around, oh, Port Adelaide are saying this and that. You know, we're not going to come out in a showdown and say, you know, we're going to beat them. We hate them. That's no point in that. That's, that's bullshit, really. Look what happened last year. We did the same thing, lost two showdowns. Did it the year before. We won the showdown, but it was just cringe. Come out, say what you want to say on the field by doing all the actions and the necessary, um, you know, your actions will speak. Do the necessary actions to win that game of football and showcase it that way. Uh, and obviously wearing the prison bars and doing it well. I'd love to hear your thoughts, Port fans, and everyone else as well that's watching. I'd love to hear what you think about this approach for Port Adelaide this year. And as I said, I'm predicting a fourth place finish. These are the games as well that I'm looking forward to this year uh, as a lighter note to end this preview. Uh, I'm looking forward to round one. For some reason, the enticement of winning round one by 80 points against West Coast is just excellent for me uh 3 on a sunday as well because i just know forty thousand people are going to rock up and we're going to get um we're going to have a fun day i think you know the the launch the, the new recruits the new captain everything's going to be fresh and a bit of a fresh mindset as well so very much looking forward to round one uh gather round round four uh against essendon it's going to be great uh at home on a friday night it's going to be magnificent this is saying it follows it up with um Round three as well against the D's uh, on a Saturday night too. It's going to be great. Looking forward to round 15 against Brisbane. That'll be our 2004 20-year reunion special. I'm pretty sure the club is going to announce 
us wearing our 2004 Premiership Guernsey uh, as a commemorative um, piece. It'll also be sort of a retro round uh, look, so I'm looking forward to that. And then finally, Anzac Round um, will be happening in round six or seven, I think. So uh, I'm looking forward to that against St Kilda. Uh, I always love Anzac Round, and that's a Friday night as well. So they're the two of the key games to put in your calendars come 2024. My final thoughts for Port Adelaide in 2024, my season preview. There comes a time in every club's history where a team says enough's enough. We can't keep doing this. We can't keep saying, hey, look, we're here, but we're not doing it. We're going to do it again. We're going to try, but you know, we don't have that ruthlessness. I think 2024 becomes the time when Port Adelaide does stand up for what it stands for, does showcase its ability on and off the field. Whilst celebrating what happened previously, we bring that into the future and make it now. Combine the two. We've seen you know, Premiership players talk about the season, what they think needs to happen, what can happen, and sort of educate what these players can do, the success they can bring, the happiness they can bring, the joy they can bring to fans like me and you. I think... There's a, for me, there's a, a silent achiever about Port Adelaide this year. So people are still writing him off. People still don't like him. All the more to prove him wrong. And let's hope it's the case. And if I'm wrong, well, we're going to 2025 and guess we do it all again, don't we? <laughs> uh, it's good fun being a Port fan. But it's up to Ken. It's up to Ken and his men. We've been saying it for the last 11 years now. The time is now. Thank you so much for watching this season preview for Port Adelaide Port fans and everyone else watching as well. Thank you so much for the support and the season predictions and everything else um, that will be coming your way in the future on the channel and also in the previous as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way. My name is Anthony and as always, can't pay.